First, with the latest from across the region and around the world, this is Central News at 6. This is Central Care home accused of neglect. Undercover report claims cruel and shameful conditions. Rail station closed by bomb scare. A World War II mortar is unearthed by builders. The future of fending off floods. The wall of steel designed to hold back the tide. And six of the best. Birmingham is shortlisted for the European Capital of Culture. I'm Bob Warman. I'm Joanne Malin, and this is Central News. Team. Live from Birmingham, this is Central News at 6. Hello. First tonight, part of a city centre was cordoned off today after workers found a second World War bomb. RAF explosive experts were called in to deal with the device. The nearby railway station was evacuated and train services disrupted. Pat West has this report. Eric McInnes, Central News. Now, as Eric said, among the other cities on the shortlist is Newcastle, and we can go north now to join Mike Neville in the studios of North East tonight. Mike, were you surprised to find yourself on the shortlist? Of course we weren't surprised. It was a natural conclusion, I think. Newcastle Gateshead is the best. Uh, I think when the thing first started, we knew we would eventually win, and I'm sure we will, because this is a marvellous area. Have you been here, Bob? Come off it, Mike. The best at what? This is... Uh, if you see that recently, it has changed beyond recognition. The place is big, it's clean, it's warm. The new buildings, we have the Baltic Arts Centre, for example, a great innovative building. We have the Millennium Bridge, which is a world beater. It's won so many awards in the last year or so. We have a new music centre, the Sage Music Centre, being built in Gateshead at the moment. And even with scaffolding all around it, it is still a most beautiful building. We but have everything you, here. What sort of culture are you exporting around the world? I mean, we've got the CBSO. It is, it is world class. What have you got? Well, we have everything. They come here, Bob. They come here. We have the facilities for them. People love coming here. Uh, you may know that this is the, uh, the party centre, one of the eight party centres in the world. Uh, we have wonderful nightlife in Newcastle. I, unfortunately, am too old to enjoy it, but the young people tell me it's absolutely marvellous. Uh, all the big orchestras come here. They adore coming here because they are welcomed by thousands of people because we have this culture. We are not a cultural backwater. We never have been. Well, what about things like, I mean, the, one of the things the judges liked about Birmingham was, was its diversity. Now, you're not a very diverse lot up there, are you? Yeah, I mean, you're all of Geordies, course. aren't you? Well, well, we're not all Geordies. We're Geordies in Newcastle and Gateshead, but the rest are Northeasterners and are proud to be Northeasterners. And one thing is, if you have a Geordie for a friend, you have a friend for life and you have a loyal one. We, we, I'm amazed, Bob, that the judges managed to get to Birmingham because, quite frankly, I've been lost there many a time. Have the roads changed recently? <laughs> Mike, I wish you luck, but not too much. Oh, we'll have it. Thanks a lot, Bob. He's a lovely man, Mike. Mike well, I think you know, we've you got the better bit. You notice those spectacles of his? Yeah. Definitely rose tinted. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we've got them hands down. Anyway, right, more on that later. Um, now, it may only be the end of October, but it's time to start practicing that Christmas party piece. And we'll tell you in a minute if uh, that's what this lot are up to. Welcome to Brooks River, Alaska. A long way to go, you might think, for a spot of fishing, but there isn't a single river in England which offers you more than half a chance of landing a salmon. Not these days. Heart of the Country Goes Wild, 7.30 Thursday on ITV1. Welcome back to Central News at 6. Thanks for being with us. News now of our competition to win 30 family tickets to one of the biggest firework parties around. Yep, it's at Copton Park in Birmingham, and the names of the winners are about to be shown at the bottom of your screen. But of course, there are other displays going on, and over the next three nights, we'll tell you where the big ones are in your area. And we're starting in Worcestershire and Warwickshire on Saturday, November the 2nd. There are displays at Worcester Racecourse and the Three Counties Showground in Malvern. On Sunday the 3rd, there's one at Sanders Park in Bromsgrove. 
and on November the 5th itself, there are displays at Arrow Valley Lake in Redditch and Corporation Meadow in Evesham. In Warwickshire, there are five displays on November the 2nd. They're at Warwick Racecourse and on open land next to Kenilworth Castle. Also at Greenmoor Road in Nuneaton and the Miners Welfare Park in Bedworth, or Bedworth if you're a local <laughs> there, and at Whitehall Recreation Ground in Rugby. On November the 3rd, it's the turn of the tough guys at the Rugby Club in Stratford-on-Avon to break out the sparklers. Well done, well done to all the winners. And on tomorrow night's Central News at 6, we'll have the fireworks displays for Shropshire and Staffordshire. Right, what fireworks have you got tonight, Mark? Uh, plenty last night. Huge night in football, Bob, and uh, plenty.